It's three, two, one backup time in three, two, one. The backup solution we are using is Shadow Maker provided by Minitool. Check them out with the link in the description. Hey, before we dive in, let me know in the comments, when was the last time you backed up your data? Be honest, never is never is a perfectly valid answer. The 321 backup rule in a nutshell is three copies of your data in two different storage media and one off-site backup. This gives you the best possible chance of getting your data back after some disaster. But it's not just about how many copies of the data you have, it's also important what your data is saved on. Having all of your wedding pictures, baby photos, or memes from 2015 saved on your phone, even with cloud backup, might not be enough. And if you lose your phone and get locked out of your account, it's game over. And the only way to have those photos back would be just to get married again. What's the problem with the USB drive? I like USB. I like USB too. USB is my jam, but flash media and USB drives and even SSDs aren't great for long-term storage. It'll ghost you over time if you're not constantly giving it attention. If a USB stick sits in a drawer for a few years without being used, the data can start fading away. Like your willpower at 2am on a Taco Bell run. Then we've got discs, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays. Yeah, remember when we all thought that these would be the future? Turns out they wasn't. And they can rot, like literally, it's called disc rot. And it sounds as gross as it is. Fun fact, all of, almost all uh, copies of Madonna's first album to be released on CD in 1983 are now unplayable due to disc rot and KSI's albums are unplayable for other reasons. I'm, I'm kidding. If you're still with me and having a good time, hit the like button or the sub button. It won't back up your data, but it might back up my self-esteem. Mechanical drives are the most reliable long-term. They store a ton of data, but one drop or mere magnetic field and they'll betray you faster than a honey extension. The answer is, unlike me, no storage medium is unfallible. Uh, infallible. Which brings us back to 321. Three copies, it's up to you to decide if one of those copies is for live data that sits on your computer or phone, or if you want to be greedy and have three additional copies. Two different storage media used to mean backup to disks, tape, or a third out of date thing. So it's changed a bit and it really means two different devices and they can be something like a NAS or an external drive. One off-site backup, for most normal people that's going to mean the cloud and for some people watching this video that could mean a friend server where you each keep a copy of a backup for each other. Well that's all great but how do you make a backup? You copy files. But there are some tools to make it easier. I've recently been using Shadow Maker from Minitool who provided me with this license to test it out. In here we can choose to back up important files and folders or entire disks. There's some benefits and drawbacks to both. Just backing up what's important to you will make your backup smaller. But if your hard drive or SSD completely fails, the restore process can take a little bit longer. If you choose the entire disk, the backup process will take longer. The backups will be much bigger because you are backing up everything but a full restore to a new disk is much quicker because you would replace the old hard drive and restore it and you'll be back to exactly where you was. So files and folders or complete full disks that's entirely your call. But let's change some options. I love options. Most of these you can leave as defaults but it, you can split up your backups into specific size chunks if you want to. You can password protect them and all of that good stuff. The backup scheme can be flicked on down here and here's where you can save some space. There's incremental, differential and full. They all have slightly different ways of saving your data. A full backup is exactly what it sounds like, a full backup. A differential is the difference between the current state and the last full backup and an incremental is the difference between the last backup which whatever that was could be incremental or full. Okay destination folder pick where you want to save it external drive NAS or your secret underground bunker shadow maker doesn't care. Okay so now we have two copies of data on two devices we're almost there next is number three See, I can count. Are you surprised? I am. Three is off-site, which for most people means the cloud. There are a couple of ways you can do this. If you have Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive installed, hey, don't knock OneDrive, I like OneDrive. You can set those applications to keep certain folders and files backed up for you. And most cloud services will keep version history and deleted files for a period of time. And that's a good way to go. A more robust way is to create a backup folder within the cloud service and then create a new backup to that. 
to save space, I would recommend using incremental or differential backups for cloud storage. If all of that seems like a headache and too much to maintain, don't worry, I got you. You can set a schedule in Shadow Maker and then it'll just do it for you. Now, just as important as backing up is verifying that those backups actually work. You can have Shadow Maker do this, but it's also wise to check that your backups work as expected from time to time. There's nothing worse than thinking you have backups, but they vanished like the last season of Firefly. To do that, just open them, make sure everything is there. And a couple of times a year, make sure that everything is backing up properly and you're good. Restoring just one folder to make sure your backups actually work could save you hours of heartbreak later. It's like taste testing the cake batter. Don't, don't skip it. And that's the one. We did it, Reddit. 321 backup. But there's more. I can tell you want even more robust backup because there's an even longer rule called the 32110 rule. Don't worry, I haven't turned into a robot. The extra one is to have one copy of your data offline on an external drive that doesn't usually get connected to anything for other than for backups. This means that if your computer and cloud account are compromised by hackers or some ransomware, there's still a dusty drive with your precious game saves on it. But remember, cold storage does need to be powered on and warmed up from time to time to maintain integrity. The zero in the 32110 is to verify. So perform the restore process to guarantee that backups work without error. Data loss isn't just about accidents anymore. Hackers, ransomware, and even good old mother nature are gunning for your files. The 321 rule is your insurance policy against all of them, but it's really up to you how far you want to go and what makes the most sense for you and your data. By doing some of the best practices, your future self will thank you a lot. Just like I'm going to thank Minitool for giving me Shadow Maker to create this video. You can check them out with the link in the top comment and the description. And there's some other affiliate links in there which help out the channel, as long as you're not using Honey. Okay, so that's all for the 3-2-1. Keep playing and be excellent to each other.